Good morning. It's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesign.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Hell, Minnesota's off her meds. Uh, so it was like 60 degrees and 65 actually on Tuesday. Then when it Tuesday night or Monday, 65. Tuesday it dropped down to below freezing and snowed. And then, then it was icy and snowy and icy, cold. It's cold today, tomorrow, 65 degrees. I have to do my booth today because I have to go in and work at the paper tomorrow. I'm not supposed to work at the paper tomorrow, but um, they need me to teach them about SEO because they're doing it wrong. <laughs> so today I got to get my booth done. Today's the day, folks. I've got every Doom project that we finished in the back. That's all going in this month. I've got my creatures. That's all, they're all going in this month. Um, I'm gonna take a couple pieces out that are gonna go to Vintage Junkie. I'm gonna take the plate pedestal out to take to Vintage Junkie because that bird that I bought, the big ceramic one, would look so cute on it, but it's definitely not a picket thing. That makes sense. Like each location has their own style. And it's just not a picket thing. So I want to take it to Vintage Junkie, but I want to put it on the pedestal to take to Vintage Junkie. I don't know that she'll leave it on the pedestal, but if she doesn't, oh well. At least it's an option. I just thought it would look so cute on the pedestal. <laughs> I need to get gas in my car is where I'm going right now. And then I'm going to head over to uh, the booth and get things just, you know, there was a lot that I put in last month for Easter. That's going to stay. And then I'm just adding to it, cleaning up, hanging new stuff, and it shouldn't take long. I should be out of there by lunch. But that's what we're doing today. Oh, you guys, I have to thank you guys so much. Y'all, okay, so you guys had like had a couple bad months, you know, you've been here. And you guys were asking like, could you buy me a copy, all that stuff, and I have all that stuff. But I, I, I said, I'd rather you guys bought through my Amazon links because it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps me out. And you did. I got my biggest Amazon payout ever. So I know it was you guys and I wanted to say thank you because I wasn't expecting it. And there was just this little bump in, in my payment this month. And I went, what? So thank you. Because it doesn't, it feels awkward to me to say, give me money. Just straight up send me money. It feels weird. To be honest with you, it feels weird. But if you want to support the channel and you want to help out and you do things like you buy my t-shirts or you shop through my Amazon links, that's different. You're buying, you're getting something in return. With the Amazon stuff, it costs you nothing, right? So then I don't feel awkward. So I have the Amazon store link in the description below and you guys used it. And I'm like, thank you so much. And it doesn't even matter if you buy the Amazon product that's in the store, if you click through one of those links, whatever you buy after that, I'll get a percentage of. And it costs you nothing extra. So I'm so grateful that you guys went ahead and did that because it really helped. That's what I'm using to get gas with right now. <laughs> it's that Amazon payment, I'm not gonna lie. That's what's uh, fueling my tank today. So thank you guys so much for doing that being willing to shop through the links and wanting to help me out I I want to cry I actually did get a little teary when I got the payment because I'm like what? They were so nice. 
I don't know why people being nice to me makes me want to cry. <laughs> but it did. So I wanted to just say thank you guys and I really appreciated it. It's very kind. You guys shop on Amazon a lot, huh? <laughs> I do too, but I can't shop through my own links. So if I shop through my own links, I'd freaking be a millionaire. I swear to God, my Amazon guy is like at my door every day. Anyway, let's get gas in the car and then go. All right, I made it. It is freezing out there and I got my bin and took the pedestal out. So let's go look and see what we got. All right, so the, there's the blue chair ready to go in and I took the pedestal out of there. It's a mess from the last day of the sale last month. I've got all of that, which is the Doom Projects and a few pieces that we picked up at thrift stores along the way. And we're just gonna make this all pretty, but here's what we're working with. So you can see what we're starting with. And then we're gonna make it prettier, I guess. Add more stuff to it. I don't have to do that much. That's why I knew I could get this done in a day and not really sweat it too much. I think I might move this over and then the chair over here. I don't know, we're gonna figure this out. Give it a bit of a different look. Huh, there's gonna be some thinking here, you guys. There may be smoke soon. Curling up out of this ear. Maybe smoke, she's thinking. <laughs> the gears are going, we don't do that till that stop. <laughs> I forgot cards, which as you know, I sold a ton of cards last month, so we're gonna have to bring some more cards in. But that's an easy when I do the tour next week, I can just drop them off. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, just have to remember to bring the cards. So bring cards, bring cards. Um, here's what's funny. See that empty spot up here? There's two hooks up there. That's where the kid's folding chair was. Do I remember a tag for the kid's folding chair? Did we get a tag for the kid's folding chair? I'm not remembering one. So I'm going to have to go back and look because I think I would have gone, that thing's been in there forever and it finally sold. Did it? Did it finally sell? Because I'm not remembering seeing a tag for it and I'm going to have to, we're going to have to figure that out and figure this out. So I get this little spot here and I don't think any of my wall hangings that I have are the size I need to fit in there. Maybe, we'll figure that out. So that's another thinking thing, but let's get to work. By the way, I like my new shirt. Peony Lane Designs, Happy Junkin' all in one. These are official work shirts. <laughs> I think I figured out how I'm gonna move things. As you saw, I moved furniture around. Now my back hates me. My back is telling me I'm an idiot. And I said, shut up, I got work to do. <laughs> but here we are, being stupid. So let me show you what I did. I moved that over there and that over there and the chair is gonna be somewhere in between. Um, I don't know why, I honestly don't. I don't know if this is gonna turn out, but it needed a different look, I think. And the, everybody's gotten used to seeing that there and it just needs to just be moved around. Cause the, shirt, the shelf is gonna be here like in perpetuity now. It's just become a display shelf because I need it. And it just needed to be moved. 
So that's what I did. Now let's figure out the rest of this garbage, but I think I'm gonna take a quick break and stretch my back. Tell it I love it. And hopefully it doesn't betray me by the end of the day. Um, oh, stop grabbing me. I hate that damn church thing or the steeple. This thing keeps grabbing me. Ugh. Let's get it out of the way because that's gonna hurt me or rip my pants and then make me mad. It's always something, you guys. The string that was on this heavy ass freaking broke and it landed on my chair right there. <sighs> Dickhead that tied this way to go. Learn to tie a knot. Don't become a sailor freaking drown on the ocean. <sighs> well, I've been working for hours now like a freaking dog. I talked to the OG for about an hour and a half. My phone's nearly dead and I'm looking around going, is anything done? I'm pricing up all this stuff and I'm like, why does it feel like I'm not getting ahead? Because I have today to do this and I'm grumpy. So here's the situation. I think the paper needs me full time to do to do their their SEO and computers and their their website. And if I take that job, what do I do? So I'm like running through my head, feeling like a complete failure at everything I do. Why do I feel like a failure of everything I do when I, I've got so many good things happening and it's like, why does that make me feel like a complete failure? I need counseling <laughs> or meds or something. Cause this fell off the wall. I feel like a failure. What? I don't even drink you guys. I should start. I should totally start drinking. I don't know, I feel really stressed out about all this. <sighs> okay. All right. I think I'm done. Want to see it? Starts here. Got my magnets. Vintage Tupperware. Moved in the amber baskets. More Tupperware. I just cleaned all this up. Moved this off the other shelf. Moved that out of the basket. The basket's going away. I put this stuff on the floor and exposed the entire ladder for this time. Um, amber glass in the window. Move those baskets up there. Move this whole shelf over and then restage the shelf with, you know, my little, my little critters. Gotta have my critters. Um, more birdhouses kind of on every shelf. The stars in here. I'm leaving the chair because why not? I haven't even priced it yet. I don't know what I'm going to price it at. Um, got our painting that we redid. Our, we redid this. More creatures. The wooden box. I don't even know if I posted that video yet. And then I moved this basket over here only so that I could put that up higher. The Aunt Dahlia's or Delia's, whatever the heck it is. Got some mirrors. I put that print up there in the space that nobody will look at anyway because nobody looks up in this store. And then I put these here. And I put the little basket with some Easter garland in it right there. And I think that's it for me. I'm feeling very sad and disjointed lately, and I don't know why. Like, I feel like a failure, like I said. <laughs> it's shocking to me sometimes. Like, our brains lie to us so bad. 
guess I'm a real person. <laughs> but this is the booth for this month. So thanks for watching, you guys. Happy chucking. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.